I finally got it! The perfect YouTube camera. This thing is amazing! I just, I spent so much money, but now I'm just going to like totally just dominate YouTube. I just like, I'm so excited. Wow, that's a cool camera, bro. Does it do multi-angle views? Well, no, it doesn't do multi-angle views. It just does this. I mean, it's amazing though, right? I mean, look at this. I mean, yeah, it's, it's superb image quality, but that's it. I mean, you just have one camera, no, uh, no multi-angles, no like side shots, no wide shots. Well, no, I couldn't afford anything other than the kit lens that came with it. The camera was so expensive. I spent all of my savings on this camera. I, I don't have any multi-angle views, but with the quality of this camera, this should dominate totally. I am going to dominate YouTube. Well, I mean, I'll give credit where credit's due. It is beautiful image quality, but... Uh, I mean, no multi-angle views, and what about what about audio? Because your audio sounds a bit questionable in, in this video. I don't know. It, you have beautiful, Im crystal clear image quality. It's extremely sharp. You got an awesome camera, but your audio could definitely be a lot better. Look, all right, I had just about enough of you, okay? I spent all my money on this camera. I don't have the money for audio equipment. I have no money left over for microphones, anything. All I have money for is this camera, and because of this, this awesome camera, I'm going to take over YouTube. I'm going to rule. I am going to rule YouTube, whether you like it or not, because this camera is the bomb. Hey, look, I'm not trying to start any fights or anything. I don't want any problems. I just was, you know, these are, are, are really big concerns you know like there's so much more to uh video production and content creation and and youtube than just having one really good camera that's it i had just about enough of you i'm tired of your mouth i'm gonna i'm gonna block you from my channel i'm gonna block you from my comments you just don't get it all right i researched like crazy trying to find the best tool for content creation this is of camera machine this is crazy this is going to totally just take over i'm not here to i'm not here to cause any problems man please don't block me please i love your channel i think you're awesome i think everything is good i think your camera's cool but you definitely could use a little help in some other areas all right i had to put a stop to that because uh it was it was starting to get really heated so i wanted to just stop that whole dialogue between those two because they are just it was it was getting pretty ugly okay um what i'm going to talk about and and hey i just want to welcome you to glitz and glam tv productions my name is jonathan and in this video i'm talking about why cheap cameras cheaper cameras are better for youtube especially if you're just starting out so the reason why is because uh and I and I've been with I I've, I've been there I've done that. You you first start out you want to get a really good camera because you think that's going to be what it takes to just dominate on YouTube. But it could be a big mistake on your part. Why? Because when you spend all your money on a camera, you have no money for buying a B camera, maybe even a C camera, maybe even a little action camera for wide angles. Let's not forget about audio. See, now I got my audio recorder here, so I'm getting better audio for the video. These are things that are easily overlooked by the new content creator on YouTube because so much emphasis is put on the camera, which again is a huge mistake because uh, let's face it, just about any camera will look good on YouTube. If you don't believe me, well, the two cameras that I'm using right now, the Canon Vixia HF-R800 and the Canon Vixia HF-R80, both of these cameras are relatively inexpensive. It's about $299 now, brand new, but you can get these things used just about anywhere. And I have this, see, it's blown out right now because the lighting is, is horrible. I, I don't have it set up properly, but the point I'm trying to get to is that I can have this multi-angle view and I, and I can add as many of these cameras as I want, as long as you have a tripod to set it on. And you have a way better setup than, say, someone that has a 
very expensive camera and only th the only thing they have because it's the only thing they could afford is one shot one angle I've done videos in the past discussing why gear doesn't matter so much on YouTube. And it's because a lot of times when people are watching content on the go, they're not even watching in 1080p. A lot of times, and I've noticed this, when I go to check out the quality uh, of what's being streamed on my phone, sometimes it's as low as 144. And to make matters worse, some people don't even know about the quality adjustments and how to make it so that it streams in 720 or 1080 or even 4K. So yeah, when first starting out, I definitely encourage you to focus more on um, the creativity of the video itself. And by that, I mean getting the multi-angle shots. Using, I have a $100 action camera, using that $100 action camera for a nice wide angle, then using the $200 camcorder for a sh uh, one angle and then or like make a, maybe like a main shot and then use another $200 camcorder for like the B shot here. And now you got a much more interesting shoot where you can switch back and forth between the, do the two angles, which makes for a much more interesting video. Don't obsess too much over the actual camera itself. Let that take care of itself in time. Once you save up the money or even once you monetize your YouTube channel and then you make money, let the camera pay for itself. But just always keep in mind though that we, when, when you're creating content for YouTube, it's not, it's not all about the camera itself. It's about the creation that you make with those cameras. It's, it's how you tell the story. I've seen interesting short films made with a cheap, old 720p JVC camcorder. And the, the quality of the production itself, the quality of the production, not the quality of the image, not the image quality, not the quality of the camera, but the production itself, how much time the, uh, the director, the, film, the filmmaker put into the production the goal, the goal he had was to see what he could do with the cheapest equipment possible. He rigged a broomstick as a boom pole, attached an inexpensive microphone to that boom pole, to that broomstick, with the JVC cam, the cheap JVC camcorder, and it looked like a good short film. It looked because of the quality of the camcorder, it looked like something that maybe was on TV in the 80s or 90s, but the storytelling of the production was on par. It was good. The acting was great. It made you forget about the video itself because it pulled you into the story. So the point I'm getting at is focus on the content. Always, always focus on the content. And if you ever are looking to up your game in quality, Always look for, always focus on audio first. Audio is like number one. Because if you happen to be like in a noisy environment like I am right now, like there's a freezer and a refrigerator running, that humming is going to, it's going to invade your video and it's gonna be heard in the background. It's gonna be distracting and it might even drown out your voice while you're talking. So definitely very important to make sure you get like a microphone like this. The two, the, the Tascam DR10L, the, ten, the $200 you'd spend on this is well worth, um, well worth it over spending um, an X amount of dollars on a camera without having a quality audio solution. So yeah, cheaper cameras for YouTube. I, I can't agree with this statement more. Don't go crazy on, 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 on how much you spend on a camera. I'm, 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 I'm using Canon Vixias right now, and I think that the quality is just good enough. Lighting, lighting is extremely important. Lighting and audio, and don't obsess too much over the cameras themselves because I'll tell you what, a lot of these cameras out here, even the, the inexpensive ones, just do a good enough job. All right. I'll catch you guys later. Don't want to hold you up too long because I have a habit of talking too much. So <laughs> take it easy. Oh, and if you made it this far, please like and subscribe. And I hope to see you in the next video.